this is a really good example of just a bad painting that I made. One, one of my goals in doing this was to watch myself and to, to become aware of when am I shifting from learning to performing. When you're learning, you don't know what's going to happen and you're trying to understand and see what the result will be. When you're performing, you're trying to get a specific result. Once we have a bad painting, then we can start to crop and find areas that we like. And again, it can be about composition, or it could just be elements that are interesting to us. So I'm gonna to continue to ask myself, what can I do? And I'm asking myself, what do I see? What do I wanna change? What don't I wanna change? Not what do I like necessarily. That felt really fun to do. So part of the experiences of play is when people are playing, they're doing something that's pleasurable. Is that a wire where the white is separate from the red? Is it, a, am I doing that with a wire? Am I doing that with foil? Am I doing that with an opalescent enamel? Am I doing that with painting the enamel? Those are the questions you're gonna ask and the choices that you're gonna to have to make. And you, you don't have to make one piece. You can make three pieces. Let's figure out how to make this little area. Let's figure out how to make that little area. Let's figure out how to make that little area. And you, you don't have to make one piece. You can make three pieces. Let's figure out how to make this little area. Let's figure out how to make that little area. Let's figure out how to make that little area.